Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review on the H2O X5 Steam Mop. I have been wanting one of these for a very long time. I found this one for $59.99 on clearance at Walmart, so I had to get it because normally this is about $90. So I guess I didn't really realize how many accessories there are in here, but I would definitely purchase some more um, microfiber cloths, but other than that, they pretty much give you every single thing you need. And it's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, so that's good because it's kind of portable. So a lot of people complain about... Um, products from the As Seen on TV not having like clear instructions but I've never really had a problem with anything from on the As TV ads so I just wanted to show that there's a full manual on how to do it and I'm just gonna speed through that so you can just pause it if you need to see it so this is obviously where you fill it up um, there's that little copper thing I read in the manual that needs to always be covered um, I love that this clicks <laughs> shut so that you're not worried about um, is the water going to come out. So then here's a little closer look at some of the accessories. That right there is for like cleaning blinds and I actually did try that but I didn't show it on camera but it's really really good. I suggest you dust your blinds first obviously and then go to it. It really made a difference. That is for um, for going on the head um, so that you can you know clean the floor and then that black thing that goes on top of it that's a carpet glider for your carpet so you don't um, steam your carpet too hard <laughs> and um, ruin it so we don't have carpet so I don't really need that and then they give you a little handy dandy cup this is the extension hose and then that's just the handle that attaches to the actual tank. And then here are some little bits. There's the nylon one and then there's just a plastic one. Okay, so this is what you actually attach the like nylon bits to um, after you attach this to the tank. And I love that you can hear the snap. I love that. Because <laughs> now I don't feel so worried. So that's how it all goes on. And we're ready to fill it up and plug it in. Okay, so here in the instruction booklet, there's a couple of things about filling it up. Um, don't fill, like don't overfill it, of course. I find that you can get about one and a half of those cups in there um, without overfilling it. So you don't want to go past, like you don't want to do like three cups, that's, you know, um, too much. So you don't want to fill it with hot water. Although some people might think that's a good idea, but you want it to heat up itself. And you need to keep it at a 45 degree angle, it says. So now that we've plugged it in, it was red and then it turned green, the light at the top. Then you just select your strength that you want. And then when you're ready, go ahead and press the button. It's a little strange sounding at first. Okay, so this is a dirty part of my shower. Um, and I'm thinking I should have used a different bit for this actually looking back. Um, it wasn't that bad for a first try. I was really, really trying to um, 
not be awkward with it because um, I was dealing with the tripod and trying not to steam up my camera at the same time as doing this so I think it did pretty well um, this was about 30 seconds and it cleaned it right up um, the only thing I would say is that the bit that just it doesn't seem like the right bit so I think I would use something else for um, I mean actually in general because the plastic seems like it just gets too soft after you've um, been using it for a while so I don't know and actually you can see here as I'm cleaning like the drain um, you'll see some of the bristles come off so I mean this bit is not really as high quality as the other one but this tub has been finished so we can't really use anything like any harsh scrubbing tools on it so this will have to do but as you can see the dirt is coming right up um, so <laughs> that's what I bought it for so it is doing its job and it's taking you know a lot of work out of regular cleaning so I I give it a 4 out of 5 and you can see there's some more some more bristles coming off but that's okay there's plenty more it just seemed to be really beaten up after I just did this little bit so I don't know when you're finished you just click the button on the back make sure that you give it a little bit to cool down before you try to touch it but that is the release and it pops off and you're ready to go so now I'm in my kitchen which is um very dirty <laughs> and definitely definitely needed the floor cleaned um, so actually I really really liked using it on the floor it was so fast so easy the head of the mop glides really easily along the floor um, and actually I was finished within about two minutes so what I did was I actually went off camera and I continued into the dining room and I came back five minutes later and everything was dry so that was perfect and that is how much stuff came up so I'm happy about it if you like this video make sure to subscribe bye